probably got to take the gas cap off. Get that other new gas cap too because that one's going to let in all the water into my tank. If I leave it outside, which it is. Good. Now that'll give me full access. I was hoping these were here. Now that'll give me full access to be able to replace both of these. Good, that's a nice plastic tank. That's good news. Actually, and now I'll be able to make sure it's 100% empty and flushed out because I think it just lifts right out of there once I take those and that gives me great access to look over all the mechanisms and everything else that I got to deal with underneath there which is pretty cool see if these old uh, many many years old hoses want to come off if not we'll go the hard way Just broke that part of the clip off, trying to turn it. Tap clip. Is it going to work? No. Doesn't matter how many pieces it comes off in. I don't want to tear these out because those rubber push-in fittings probably will leak if I have to reassemble them and I don't have any bring it back when I get that one. It wasn't pretty, but I got it. Now let's see if this tank comes out. Yeah, that comes right out. Beautiful. Okay, I was just working on the fuel tank. I drained out the fuel. And uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty orange. I got the rest of it out pretty orange and uh, it's got a couple layers in there so probably some water good thing I got that out but as I was tipping it I heard something clunk and well there's a couple things in there somebody's old I don't know if you can see in there in the sunlight somebody's old fuel filler thing and uh, I think the other half of one or both of these um, these must have lines on the inside also that drop down to the bottom of the tank and one or more of those is in the tank along with the part of somebody's gas gas neck filler that they were using to fill it with so I'm going to have to pull these I originally didn't want to but now I see I have to okay so here's what I shook out of it so far a few pieces of old uh rotted fuel line and this thing oh it's like sticky weird um, and then yeah that's going to be dropping down to the bottom of the tank so I'll just uh, 
estimate how long it might have been. Maybe I'll try to look that up to see how long that piece was supposed to be and uh, make it the same. And I got out somebody's old neck of their gas can, their gas can spout. Must have fallen off and they couldn't get it back. So this is all the pieces I found. So I'm going to assume it was pretty much just the length that it was plus another inch like that. It looks like this would make up, you know, one circle all the way around. I didn't find anything else. To give you an idea what condition this rubber hose is, um, good thing we don't have smell of vision by the way, because that old gasoline is just rancid. But this hose is absolutely mush, the whole thing. So, no trouble getting that off. Okay, I was just trying to figure out how this all works. So it does have a dip in the bottom of the tank. You can see from there to there, there's a low point in the tank that corresponds with this. If this would go over, just a little over and down, it would go into that lower well and be able to get every last drop of fuel. That's your reserve. So um, I'm going to just deal this. This is the thing that came on the end of the other hose. Uh, it's a screen with a little spring on it. I guess the spring is probably just to keep it up off so it doesn't suction against the bottom. But let me just see how this feels. Yeah, that's going right down where we want it. Good. So if you're measuring yours out, you've got to go at least that far. At least bury, bury the screwdriver up and then any farther and it'll just lay flatter on the bottom. So I'm going to go I'm going to cut this off just a little bit just to square up that end. So here's what I'm doing for mine. If it goes on an angle it's going to go straight down because this is a 90 degree but if it goes on an angle this, this screwdriver is completely buried so I've got all that and then another inch or two. So first, I'll put the grommet here. Alright, and on the reserve tank one, I had to put the thing on it and then slide it down in as, a, as an assembly. But I got it to slip down, so it's got that's the one with the hose on it.